Hey everybody, so today I want to talk about flat, flat ironing your hair. So flat ironing is really good for fine hair because it kind of gives you that expansion that you want, but we can keep all of our length. The hardest part is trying to figure out how to hold the dang thing and to wrap, you know, keep going and getting it onto your hair without it frying your hair off because we, our hair can't take a lot of heat, so we need to be careful. So what better way to do is to, to do it is to start with the iron off and just practice, practice the angle of how you're going to do it. So I actually did this side of my hair, so it's still just a little bit warm, but I ended up turning it off. So you want to make sure that you're getting the right angle. So you want to make sure that you're doing a full turn. So if I came over here, and put my hair in it and went like this, I'm only getting a half a turn in the hair. So I am not gonna get a full wave in through here unless I'm holding it closed and trying to get it. So the easiest way for me to do it and to tell my clients to do it is to come over the top. So again, you wanna make sure that your hand is directed this way and you can do a full turn on the on the side of your head so think of it if, if you've ever used a wand to you have to kind of come over the top of your head and then like wind it around so it's kind of the same concept you need to have it over so you need to be taking sections of the hair and they have to be smaller sections than what we did with the curling iron but you want to come in this way you want to do a full turn and you want to slide it down to the ends. Now, do this when the iron is off and do it a lot of times to make sure that you're getting that every time. So I'm gonna turn my iron back on. You wanna make sure, this is the D, this is the um, GHT Platinum. And you wanna make sure that you can set your irons to a certain temperature. A lot of fly, flat irons go to 450 degrees and remember the cuticle of our hair is super fragile so if we are putting 450 degrees on our hair we are just frying the cuticle off so we need to make sure that it's around like 250. if you can get by with going even lower than that like 230 then i would do it for sure so okay so i have so this is kind of freshly washed hair i have some thickening mousse in it and I did apply some of the Amica Undone um, it, which is a texturizing spray and I did apply that kind of underneath everything to get it to expand a little bit more okay so I am going to section this off and I'm going to start with this down and through here okay so I don't have a whole lot of hair in front of my ear Remember, I only have 17 hairs that make up the whole front. So I'm taking this, I'm pretty much taking this whole section in front of my ear um, from my crown down. So about that much. Bringing it towards my face. My hand is towards the mirror and I'm coming in this way. I'm going to go straight down with it. I'm going to do a full turn and I'm going to bring it through. That's it. That's all the hair can handle. So you have to be super fast at it. So I'm going to take this one back here. I'm just going to do the front just so I can show you guys. About that, that much, that amount, making sure my hand is towards the mirror, putting it in, clamping, bringing it through. That's it. So with my bangs, since they're a little bit shorter, I just, I keep those out. I might give them a little bend at the bottom, but I'm gonna keep those out. So I'm gonna take this section. I don't have a comb. Make sure you're combing it through. Make sure there are no tangles in through here and you are, I, you know, having a flat iron over tangles because that could cause breakage. So we don't want that. 
Make sure all the tangles are out. We're bringing this forward a little bit because we want a lot of volume by our face. And our hand is towards the mirror. About, I don't know, three inches in there. I'm clamping, I'm rotating, and I'm bringing it through. That's it, and I'm going away from my face. Back in through here, I'm gonna elevate this a little bit because I want some height here. I'm clamping, rotating, pulling through. Okay? And through here, I can just do, I can do a little bit of twist at the end just to get it to blend in. Get that little kind of sassy front in the middle there. Let it cool a little bit. If you're doing the rest of the hair and you're letting it cool, that's the way to do it. But for sake of time. And then you just kind of scrunch it out. So it gives you quite a bit of expansion, gives you a little bit of sass in there, and then it still leaves your length. So it's a fun way to kind of, to sass up the hair a little bit, but just make sure uh, that you're practicing it with your iron off, making sure you're getting that rotation right. And then this side you would do the other way. You would do a full rotation this way. It's just the easiest way to do it instead of trying to hold it and bring it around, okay? So if you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I will talk to you soon.